and the share very easy loose watercolor panel today featuring a new floral stamp. Stay tuned. <music> Hello there everyone, welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today Altony released the Painted Flower Coral Sunset Outline Stamp Set. And as all their Painted Flower sets, this one is also a beauty too. I'm using the A2 watercolor cardstock and I stamped the image in obsidian ink. And then heat embossed it in crystal clear embossing powder. I like to heat emboss my images as it makes the watercolor process faster, a little carefree even as you don't have to worry too much about going out of the lines or contaminating other areas. Today I want to do some carefree effortless watercoloring. Reason being I'm not feeling very well and I want to complete my projects as quickly as I can. I don't want to think too much about adding details or worrying about light and shadow. I also want to use muted tones for a change. My cards are often very vibrant and bold looking. I have noticed that as our weather becomes hotter, my color palette becomes muted as if I'm trying to hold on to the bit of winter. As you can see, I've chosen to watercolor with the 36 band set today because I love the greens in this set and also because of the cosmic berry pigment that I really wanted to use. The other favorite pigment of mine is the lava rock. I have applied a lot of water onto the flower, then I will drop cosmic berry pigment. I'll make sure not to add too much of this on the underside of the petals and most of the concentration will be on the cupped petals that are curled inwards. Just keep this one thing in mind and it will be enough to show an effect of depth on the floral image. You can heat set this and then work on the second layer but I would move on to the second flower and first apply water then drop in purple wine pigment and mix a bit of warm sunshine pigment as well. After applying the first layer, I go back in to add a mix of purple wine and cosmic berry pigment to my first flower. After this, I'll add cosmic berry to the second flower to mute the tone a bit. For the third flower, I'll use lavender fields pigment. And to this, I'll add cosmic berry pigment. So the cosmic berry pigment is uniform in all the three flowers. This will also help in creating a cohesive look. For the leaves, I'll use evergreen. I'll apply pigment onto the end of the leaf and pull it out with a clean brush towards the tip of the leaf. I'll color all the leaves in the same way, but I'll add more dark pigment to the end of the leaves, the area that's right next to the flower so as to show a little bit of shadow. Then for the background, I'll add a light color wash of lava rock pigment. And I'll keep working on it till I'm happy with the look. I've now cut my panel. I'll stem the sentiment and use a pen uh, from the fine liner pen set and draw a border around the panel. This will be a doodled border. I'll add a few cross stitches and that's it. I'll just adhere the panel onto a card base. I hope you enjoyed the coloring session. There are prizes and more inspiration for you. So please stop by the blog. Link is in the description. I'm also sharing one more project with you and I love how it turned out. It was super easy to make. See you on the blog. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello there, did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Altenew YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.